Hello guys, welcome to Doing Scanner. Like most of you already know, I'm the host of this podcast and my name is Doing David. On today's episode, huh, we have one of the most outspoken people I've met in my entire life. I think he's the biggest Twitter sensation that can come out of Nigeria. His name is Daniel Rega, and I'm so glad to have you today. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, Thank, you. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Thank you. Great. I love what you're wearing. <laughs> I really do. I don't know. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. I just think you know what I'm wearing because... No, no. I, I really think you look nice. Like, well, Thank you very much. Don't you think you look nice? Definitely. I know I look nice, but you know, people now know why they have style of, you have to make it so you have to look a certain way, especially if you're like popular or you have to follow a certain trend. Right. And... Yeah, not about that life. I'm very, me and you both, I'm not about to be pressured. <laughs> No, I need to fashion, like fashion, fashion. Yeah, I like to like. That's how they do. As a lady, you have to be. Even as a man, I don't think it's just as a. No, but ladies have more like you have to check the trail. True. 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 Your hair, your makeup. Yeah, it's not your hair. But True. men don't have. I just like. Freeze it's not I think like it's something that's expected of men to some extent, but it's not as like a man also the fashionable boots. Right. Well, fashion food. What happened? But you are fashionate. In my own way, my own race. I've been right. Actually, that's the reason Okay, so today we're going to be discussing societal issues yeah. with Daniel Rega. So the topic is discussing societal is- issues with Daniel Rega. So, I mean, I've gone through a few of you too. And you're, you're pretty vocal about a few things that I wanted us to talk about. So the first one we're going to be talking about is Yahoo Boy. So before we start, I want to read out some tweets that I got from your page. So the first one you said was the EFCC should start offering the cash reward to anyone who reports Yahoo boys. A significant amount like one million naira. This will get many people to snitch on their friends, relatives, and neighbors. That's an, that's one tweet. There's another tweet that says Yahoo boys are worse than criminals on the street. Make sure, <laughs> make sure you have reported the ones you know to the EFCC before coming online to campaign for good governance. You can't be supporting fraud, but at the same time, praying for a better Nigeria. That's in C. Yahoo boys are easy to identify. They have characteristics and patterns of doing things. As a lady, you should know this. Contact the EFCC secretly if your lover or loved one has basic traits of a cyber criminal. Help get rid of them. They're nothing but a complete disgrace to the society. So you seem to hate night Yahoo boys so much. Can you tell us why? I kind of like, I would say hate is a strong word, though I don't hate... I would say I kind of like them. I dislike them briefly for being uh, lazy. Because I believe they always are lazy people. Because if you are not lazy, you will not be looking for a way to make money without putting in the work. You understand? So I feel like, and people are just so good about this being like, like, oh, when you come out of, like, I think what I think Nigerian people do that kind of get me upset is, you come out of a campaign for good governance. Then when someone comes out to criticize something that is morally wrong, you see them defending it, looking for to justify it. Oh, why, why, in where, uh, go punish you, or oh, who give up a bar, you keep up in your government if you want to blame. Yeah, okay, if I, if I tell the government you want to blame, what's stopping me from entering your home? Because the, there are many people, there are many people that are kind of like, they have the influence, they have the connection, they can't do those kind of things, you understand? They have people that, 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 that are into those kind of nothing, but it don't depend be that not all money is what, not all um, acts are, are worth going into. Because definitely, Yahoo is not something you should, you should encourage to indulge it. Because this is even this is even more realistic than you understand. So the whole thing is that if you are coming to copy for good governance, if you are coming to, to call out the government, if you are coming to criticize anything that is morally wrong, make sure your hands are clean and make sure you are taking the stance for good. And not just because you want to speak, because if you like, oh, let's speak about this thing because I want to get the clouds, I want to get the um, engagement or whatever, and then you pull back right. when it when when it, when it shifts to you, you understand. So that's the thing. Then coming back to the ladies who that there's many ladies who are this see these guys into repairing Yahoo. But they keep quiet. Even some parents even kind of encourage their, their children to come not saying. You understand? How would it be a parent, for instance? I like my mom now. If I did, what if I come my mom? Like, oh, send me money and stand up. I, I, I'll just say, tell me, ah, uh, we'll give you money. I thought, well, maybe I'll put it like this. You understand? Those are how many persons will be asking. Not when you're just come out from school, new school, you bet, I just boom, buy a cup, eat me on nine, you don't ask questions. Just say, oh, God, I've done it for me. Like, God, I'm done what's for you. So that's some things you have to ask. You have to start submitting these people now. And the more we let this thing slide out over the the more it's going to come and provide spite with. Next 10 years or next 15 years, you'll see people of like 18 years, 15 years, 15 years, 15 years, 20 years, going to see this thing. And nobody's going to say anything. And yes, it's not something that matters. When you catch certain people, you send them to prison. I don't know why people are doing back and front. 
about the whole thing. You understand? Well, this is what the, of, of the road. So sometimes you see you 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 from what we have stared down, what you see, you see poor the roads. Maybe when they give you one or two, you let them pass. Yes, so it's not making any sense. So they are, they are that kind of endangering everybody, not just the people that, that are embezzling from. Those people are close to them because you can end up in a sacrifice, end up in a sacrifice. So we have to check this business now. I cannot call out the government for certain things. We have to also check because we have not like to uh, uh, take it out okay. for anything. We just like pointing fingers. Oh, this is person left the house. Let me come to you, for example. Let's, let's come to people in that, for example, now. Oh, so person is it. If we got this, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. What did the housemaid do that led to this picture? What the house means that led to their eviction? People don't check mental those things. They just want to look for who to point fingers at. The same thing people are doing now. You want a good go Nigeria, you want a good government, you want Nigeria to try it, but you don't want your boss to be arrested. Hmm. You don't want prostitution to be checked me. You want all this, you know, let's have the bar light, well, let's blame government. Look at when our stats came for instance now. Many people have in the past. So some people just look back here and just enter for any money. Why? Because most of these people are doing this now, but when they are from the government, when they come out, they leave the year, drop all of the places. Me now, I don't have shit to give anybody. <laughs> I was standing like when I completed the stay, nobody will make me that. I used to do that all stay, but then it's when I since my mate that duty, you have to do So that's the problem. Okay, but you know, some people would make the argument that the reason people go into fraud, yeah, whole oh, assistance, is because, you know, the society is bad. Like there's poverty everywhere. Some people would even say, oh, people do this because, you know, they want to give their children a better life or they want to create a better life for their family members and stuff like that. So, is, wouldn't you say that that's a fair argument? Because there's a lot of poverty. It's not a fair argument because if I if people are saying this kind of nonsense, people are this kind of nonsense will not be happy if they get it defrauded themselves. That's one thing. If they if the person out okay, this is for example that I'm into Apple, right? This is for example I'm into Apple now, and I come out probably are supporting me. Let's take my instance. And I come out, do I went to um one of the he said make I bring your heads. Would you say, oh, that's a bad argument because, so, okay, this is my head. No, I can make the life better for everybody. No. That's what you say, you shout out Jesus and pass people with you. You understand? So, everyone is just trying to make the point because they're not, be, they're not the one being affected. It's just the same thing with this government we have now. What's what's supporting the government now? I've got that better from the government. Maybe they are, they are appointees. Maybe they are related by it to the government. They are making money. They are getting back. So, they will not say anything bad. Even if come out as they end this or end that, they are relaxed. That brother was there during their life. We are the ones suffering it. When the Naras has happened, like I said, most were not affected. Like the poets said, the elites were not affected. You understand? So we were the ones getting the glow back. You understand? So when people come out and be like, let's have patience with any opinion, let's have patience with, um, with the CBN and APC. I'm like, are you thinking straight? You are in your house. Probably someone will bring you over mm -hmm. or maybe go to the park. Bad manager lost the road to your house. Just drop the gas for you. You are not affected. We now, we have to stand in the back almost 24 hours a day to get the gig. So you cannot tell me I should be smiling and you will be there in your house telling me nonsense. So it doesn't go to the old boys. What happened when the old boys are like, oh, um, um, there's a reason to go to fraud. They're trying to make an end meet. Can you go, can you go, can you go? Why are the people suffering it? We, when you make money out, when you exploit someone, like when you scam someone, someone is making the pinch. So it's not, there's no check and balance in it. It's wrong, it's wrong. You understand? So if, if you were making the money without anyone being affected, you maybe you are making the money, maybe let's say you they had to prove the rest that people are making money from there. The one is crying for this highest you lose your money, that's your highest. Well, no, I said that ah, because you made money now, I lost. What about bring someone else? What about what about causes pain for someone else is not what he should does it be very true. Can I ask, have you ever been personally scammed by any Yahoo boy? Because you seem very awesome in the world. I'll tap it. I'll tap it straight to my but I mean kind of like it is me it is me to map when I think it's not the only thing the only thing I've tried to do that rubbish me was for was bank. This is instead me, I think they was telling me hundred naira. They need close like this month. I was like, this part, it's not where we So you talk and I said no, I had not get get straight. I saw oh, yeah, but so when I bought there, I was like, yeah, what? Well, I didn't know okay, the bank. I saw it, but the people was doing that now. They said if I don't think the bank, I don't want to get it. I'm not going to remember the account. So you understand? So that's it. That's all that to further. But I've stayed. I've gone through that. It, that thing. There's, you know, there's this kind of shows that when you wake up, you just go like, maybe let's say exactly half ten key mm -hmm. your account. Just wake up, you take it, I've stayed out, I'm gonna have my legs, swing mm -hmm. back in my knees, my step. You wake up, night and up of us. They said, I've met out Chris, now I tell you, I thought that, honestly, you just be kind of like Chris the first time. You'd be like, I'm gonna do it. I went out of it. So it's not a good experience. I mean, my eyes did too. I mean, I didn't mean, like, yeah, okay, let's say, instead of asking you to see your food, why you kept your food here now? Mm -hmm. We're disgusting. I stepped out to get water, I come, I lost your food. I thought you'd be like, I don't be here, keep this. <laughs> we hear this thing for long loss. You will not get yourself full. So that means there's this thing I'll show that. Oh, it's not something you want to experience. Right. I'm not experiencing it too, but God forbid I'm not experiencing it. 
So yeah, all for all Yahoo boys must go to everybody. If they catch you, but you see, the, if God better to clean this, the ESC is with clean zeros. It's because the reason why most people are like good is because they feel like, oh, if I'm, if I'm doing one, they, they catch me, I drop one or two dories. You understand? There are so many people that have been to fraud. There are so many people that have cases that have been linked to fraud. So many celebrities, I'll mention it. These people are still having their cases being at John every day. Why not just stamp this and sentence them one? We have been sent this for by big people. That people now money cannot marry out. But well, you see, most people, they do some stuff that say that if they catch you, did that guy drop with the dollars of like 200 can every year. That's a nonsense statement. So, most people are going to do that if I go into it and hustle enough and make money. If they catch me, I just to drop one to get connection. I don't for months. I'm not doing my life. You understand? And this thing is also the reason why I say after this thing, this is also affecting us Nigerians. I say, oh, we have a very useless image now. Go to our offline. You understand? When you come out and be like, you guys don't most people going online. This is the reason why that is being, um, that is done towards Nigerians. It's not only because of our country. Because most elites, most white, most white countries now foreigners assume that oh, these people are just here to scam us. You understand? So when even when you are trying to like, oh, I'm not, I'm not one of them. You have to work quite as hard to prove yourself worthy, and it's very bad. It's very, very bad. So that's the thing. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to we're going to move to the next topic. The next topic is going to be religious leaders. Yeah. So I'm going to read a few tweets that you've tweeted about religious leaders. Okay. Huh. No general overseer or man of God should own a private jet. That's ridiculous. As a matter of fact, men of God are not supposed to be living lavishly. All expensive gifts, donations, plus 90% of the money generated by the church should be used to help the needy and fund the community prayer. Yeah. That's one tweet. Another tweet, you said, Stop saying God of Oyedipo, God of Oyakilume, and co. Because you can't say for a fact that these people serve the same God you serve. Even if you fellowship in their church, always direct your prayers to God himself through Jesus or make a reference to the, to the saints acknowledged in the Bible. Pray wisely. And then the last thing I'm going to read out is, he said, most men of God are always moving around with armed officers. Yeah. But they will climb the altar to preach about God's ultimate protection. Then they sell stickers and other religious items afterwards. Why ask members to have faith when they themselves rely on police, soldiers, and the rest? So... Let's talk about this thing. The first one, the first tweet you read about the general verse, I think I just want to pop back to that. And I think it's a point that I keep hitting on most of the time on my tweet. Like, um, the same old general verse, yeah, sometimes they used to bribe my arm. Probably on the altar, when they are altar, on the altar, they'd be like, uh, when I was poor, I did this. I drink that ring. I wear one shirt. Good. Hallelujah to my neighbors. God have it for me. Then you still start bragging. Now nah, I wear a suit of 100k. I wear a suit of this. So they are telling me that me because I'm not a pastor, but I fellowship in your church and I serve God. Why am I not wearing the same suit of hundred k? Why is your grace different from my own? The simple truth is that you are making money from the church. You are using the church money to fund your life. fund your lifestyle and pray yourself. And people have available enough to donate millions to you. I'm not smart because if you have it, if I'm not I'm a Christian, right? If for example, let's say I cash out like um ten n, my tax supposed to be one n. I will not foolishly give it to the church. Yo. Personally, I will not give my money to judge because I don't trust the judge. You understand? What I would do instead, if I don't give it less, I'll give to then I don't want to buy something and give to the orphanage or they need to want charity book or something. I cannot figure out what the issue is lacking. They need to find, they need the cheat. I buy it and drop it there. I know that who will use it. You understand? Because also that when you donate this money to the judge, pastors need to enrich themselves. They say, and member donate for me, can't. Well, member gave me a car as gifts. Why will you as a pastor be having three cars, four cars, five cars? It doesn't make any sense. You have to private jet. Do you know how much it costs to maintain a private jet just for a day? You understand? So don't think anything. Meanwhile, half of your church members, probably 16% of every church in Nigeria, most of the members are poor. Church members should contribute money. Church project, let's build school. Let me not pray to the name of God that we build. End of the day, the food that I'm going to go to your Me now, I've got to take money. If I'm, if I'm sick, I'll go to FMC. I'll just one who generous to, and I'll wait there for you. Why also get, because okay, since then, this, um, School was built by the church. Let's say, uh, even if the school is expensive, because definitely the school has to be expensive because you are paying staff. It's not free. I cannot pay staff from just You have to pay for money based from general school itself. So you can say, okay, people are going to this uh, church. Instead of paying 300 k as a teacher fee, you can pay 100 or 250 Then uh, scholarship for school people from the school can be picking. So it's to level the blame field. You can't look up in the morning and be like, oh, this of need be a very happy to judge. Hallelujah, everybody. Hallelujah. I act a rope for school, a rope for the 
best Diane Ro. We are telling to pay some amounts. Be that what you could take. Me and my friend are going to pay some amount people at the outside that. What is the point? Who is taking the money? Do you understand? You are not renovating the church. You are not feeding anybody the church. If you feed nobody's once in a while, give donut, donut, and maybe one cup of bread. We just come out. That's another thing. So church pastors are just living lavish at the essence of church member. Now it is. Say how do you come to the church and be like, um, everybody, uh, buy this sticker, place it to your heart. God will protect you this day. Spiritual attack, this spiritual attack, back to send that. Meanwhile, you are stepping out, you are moving with two more for two army. That convoy is following you. No, let me frown. Convoy is following you. Do you get? No. Convoy is following you. You why won't you take that car? Put it in front of your car and move alone. That same God that is protecting me should protect you. We should not talk I just see just that move with army. Or so that. See what we told you to disciples. I thought disciples were not missionaries, so they were not uh, uh militants or you think know, right, you know. right. So Unmarried people, which are men or whatever. So why are they not moving with security? Well, it's not that, that security is important. But if you have that faith and that risk, why don't you step out with that your sticker that you have I'm I imagine a raw piece. Say, God, I believe in you. I worship you. Any distance move from my way. So I should use sticker, listen to my heart, listen to my car. And then I would jump from here to uh, Abuja, know how it before me. But you, we got to come forward with police and move to easy. Uh, there's somebody else say, I, because I don't, they don't want to get this crowd. I say, why your members and other people outside should be able to have you as a pastor? If I see it, it's not going to listen, for example, let's say, I'm like, oh, you didn't go for instance, the way it's supposed to be. I say, but ah, daddy or father or whatever, or whatever you call them. And then, eh, eh, man of God, I say, ah, greet me. You, ah, take, take. I'm not going to see you. I'm like, ah, why would I go and meet this eh, man now? I don't believe really, I'm mean, having something serious. I feel that I want to touch me. Probably, I believe that so it can heal me. But if I cannot have personal access to you, I will have to wait. Okay. Some people are saying, Pastor, take, take you follow protocol. You will see fall. You will do you that. Two days, you have not seen Pastor. Person wait, they go that day. Yeah, but that can be understandable because he has a lot of people that we want to see. No, 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 no. He has a lot of uh, members of church that, that what most studies do, what most studies do, they kind of discriminate. Why I'm feeling deformed? That's people that will just come and walk in. That one is there. Even that one is sort of a governor, it's sort of a so You don't have to be from a thousand people or so by the world. If I come on, we'll be able to. Even the other automatically, I'll say, look, you have walked in. But to me, maybe sort of a nobody, and I'll be weak, I'll be maybe a one small girl, one small girl, one in judge. You have to fit protocol. You understand? So I don't have that. The other should be limited, should be, to be, after, it should be, to be unlimited to everyone. If you want to follow protocol, everyone should follow protocol. Because that's all that person that person's issue. That's all that we are doing with for them, but to see person next week, this week they're dead. You understand? It's just the same thing that happened yours. So if someone calls you, as the pastor used to pick up the phone, that is for you, are here to serve. You are not here to do a uh, credential, this or all those things you might be. Totally, as the pastor used to be defending, but it's the same thing, but you have to stay away from it. You don't know what the people are saying, this sort will win. God has forbidden this one. It is this and that. People, Nigerian people, most of them, God them that's there too. I voted on saying my father in heaven. My father is a super person. My father has great revelation. Where did we end up now? See the problem. Now that the election has got gay way, nobody's making any noise again. I don't have to come out and be like, oh, now that this is what God told me about the God case. I want them to start prophesying again. So no God really spoke to. You understand? You can't come out and be like, oh, and somebody said, and I said, he said, I don't even know who is being a I don't even know who is The Lord spoke to me. I love my dream. Whatever God said, the manifest. Don't even know who is being a You understand? So we got. Because that's what the job don't to reason most of them. If your pastor, normally if your pastor declares something, it's supposed yeah, to go. It because you believe that God says it to you. God cannot say that rain will fall on Sunday and on Monday and so the rain not for you. That's the same rain on Wednesday. What happened? Did they change plan? It's not possible. You understand? <laughs> now, no, it, it, it's funny, but those are, these are the two things that we don't seem to comprehend. People worship pastors a lot and it's a very messed up something. Then come to the total now. You are saying your prayers. Ah, God of Edible. After my prayer, God of the Son. After I pray, I God love this Lord. After I pray, do you know who gets served? Everyone claims to serve God. Who's thinking of people that are real public figures? Do you think behind those? I'm not saying they don't serve God yet, but don't make a reference to anyone you, you that is not a stand out. They don't reference in the Bible. You know, the grandma and the other God love for my grandma that's the bad news. She is dead. I will not be near my grandma to help by her. That is the truth. You cannot be there, my mother by her. father would help by her. So you can say, I God also person pray for me. You understand? Say God of Abraham, God of Jacob, well, the right of prayer straight to Jesus Christ. People are in the simple as those. You don't see, you don't see death, the pastor, saying God of my name. Mm. 
You understand? Right. So that's the thing. So if you want to acknowledge your pastor, or you want to respect, must respect your pastor, but that's unnecessary and um, a hide that pedestal to you put it, most people put that doesn't make any sense because that is why most pastors or most men of God, most religious leaders, not even pastors, most religious leaders are like who see themselves as untouchable, see themselves as gods. That when I say something, I believe that so people don't listen to me and I go to walk according to my word. It's that, so that kind of expresses the thing. Even in this edition, I did it. Expresses the they make me with politicians, people to get it. But they, I, they, I believe most of them believe that whatever I campaign for, the person will win. This is a lot to go to my church to with their TV and you will drop money. So it's a cash out for me either way. Right. Understand? So that is the game most of them plays. So the thing doesn't make sense at all. Okay. I, I wanted to ask some questions, but I feel like if you want to answer them while talking, but I just want to ask this last question. Can you share your opinion with us on paying type? Are you pro tight or are you against tight? Definitely. No, you have to pay tight because it's a mandation in the Bible, you understand. But the thing I do, like I told you before, if I want to pay tight, based on the fact that I've seen how kind of misuse tight, most pastors misuse tight. If I want to pay, but I feel like, oh, this church needs something. I can give, I can, I can, I can, I really need to buy some place I put in the church. It's still tight. I give God my 10%. But I will not give my money to a pastor that I don't trust. It's not putting into good use. You understand? Mm. Like, when most people are like, ah, TBJ is just I'm like, if you follow what TBJ is doing, I'm not saying it's a sin. But if you follow what TBJ is doing, you can see that during the time of the week, you can see what he did. You can see the work he did. He was, he did that right. Those are what I expect church to be doing. You understand? Not telling them to, if you have anybody that is breaking that all shit, share to who? No, you understand. In money, you're making less privileged. We share to people in the church that don't have enough clues. The ones in the church, the one, the money that giving you as tight and offering every day, where is the money going to? Because say a pastor, you are saying you wear a less of 500 G. Your pastor pass is from Dubai. Your this one is from uh, Italy. Those money are yet to go to fly about. Love you yourself like a politician. Why not break part of that money? Like, if you see, just as little wrote there, and how of wants, wants. It is him saying, no, everybody pray for me, the biggest horse. Let, let's go with the child road. He didn't do that. You like the pastor now, the best guy, I don't want to drive in it. Your house, people can never talk about your house. Your, your art speed is one in a million. Mm. Meanwhile, your members in the judge is 50 15 and are giving us offering. If you are a visible pastor, I'm just saying, if you know what you are doing, use that money. You can, you can build things. You can build. Schools, you got, got open factories in the name of the church. Airblind people, give them job. Now that you do is step up. Go to communities that, communities that don't have light, don't have water. You use the church when I fund those projects. It's not just to come out and tell us that the church, these are churches that are Christ. Now, nobody, everybody says, okay, prosperity. Prosperity, we are tired of it. Let us start seeing the war of the prosperity. That is the good truth. Right. Okay. So the next subtopic we have here is relationships. Yeah. Like usual, I'm going to read your tweets concerning relationships. You said men will be men will be in a relationship, but they will expect their lovers to do wife eating teas. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Are you looking for love or are you looking for a maid? Ladies encourage ladies who encourage this behavior are part of the problem. They end up setting unrealistic standards and make those that and make those that don't do it seem untrained. Another tweet you wrote was women love money is a biased statement. Let's be real, both genders need money. But not everyone is obsessed. If you have a daughter or a sister, you will also want them to have the best things in life. So stop complaining and find somebody that has, that's not a li- liability because no one hates money. So those are two tweets that I got on relationships. First of all, I want to ask, what's your stance on men expecting women that are just their girlfriends to do wifey duties? It's kind of like, doesn't make any sense to me though. Like, yeah, when you say girlfriend, I mean, I think you believe we are dating. Right. Yeah, we're dating. And as I think it's a girl can't look, let's say probably a girl can or your girlfriend, for instance. Let's say can check up on you, um, uh, should I come to your house? They just visit Christian and come to your house. Not visit to come and sleep with you. Mm. Visit to come to your house. Maybe if you come to your house, I can do that to let's bring them to small house or study up the house. You know that's bad to me, but it's that from a girl. Let's say as a girl to leave my house, talk to your house, wash your clothes. You just leave your clothes, don't pitch for me there. I she will come over drink the girl and she wash the clothes. I will go to the market. You have not given me a ring, though. I'm uh, not guaranteed to say you will marry me. I've not seen one of them, Mama. You are me to do all the house chores, do everything you are supposed to do. Yes, that you parade me up and down. You are saying when you, you call me, I'm 100% on the phone. I, I, you know, most men expect that when I'm dating you, you should, pri- you should make me a priority. Right. Is that whatever I need, ask that to me. Because that is most people have this I, 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 my then mindset that I'm a man, whilst I bring the money. 
all you have to do is be loyal. Right. You understand? But same thing that same people will not allow their sister and a lot of people to say people are mad. You understand? They'll be like, I have no work for yourself and I'm mad though. We have dignity. I'm not saying I'm going to do that they don't have dignity. I'm just saying that some later I don't want to buy this not friend. Right. Uh, that's some things you have. Actually, I actually agree with you in that sense. I think there's certain things that you do while you're in the girlfriend position. Yeah. There are certain things that you do when you're married. I don't think you should reveal all your cards yeah. before you get married. I thought, I like, well, I, I want to see she's the white material. And like you, like, are you, are you a lot of material? Because, right. But if you have a lot of material, you will not be putting pressure on someone. But most people do fake it these days. They'll be like, okay, you want me to be white material, let me be white material. And when they end, when they get to the house, that's another character. But that's not the kind of fit. Unless someone thinks that they want to be like, if you like them, like them, don't like forget about it. Understand? And most men still also go for body. Ah, I, I like this girl's body. They forget that when the woman gets pregnant, there's everything that body will change. So if you're not in love with the person as a person and go for the physical appearance, there's everything that when the person get maybe change in shape, you start oh, switching straight. You understand? I think what I said something, but there's something you said last time in the relationship. I think you said um, and you can I think something like you can stay with a man. Uh, even if a man cheats, you can feel apart the person loves. Mm. No, I don't think that's what I said. What I said was I will prioritize transparency over like this monogamy that we're practicing because I don't really believe that a lot of people are practicing monogamy. I think they're just lying to their partners. What I what I meant was if my partner is able to be transparent to me enough to say, you know, babe, see you, I made this mistake. I've cheated. Before, uh, before uh, uh, after, no, after, after marriage. Or even before marriage, I'm saying. Wait, did he, did he cheat that when you're already married? Yeah, when we're already married. If he cheats on me, or even when we're in a relationship, but he's able to come to me and say, "Babe, I made this mistake," and I know that it's not like an occurring thing that he always does. But sure, that's not. It's never a mistake. Yeah, well, unless you were drugged, unless the person was drugged, just another like mistake. You had the idea, you had the feeling, and you went for it. But it's all really respects you as a person. That was the case. Do you think monogamy is really possible? It's possible. Do you think it's possible to be with one person your entire life and never? You think so? Yeah, it's possible. People have done it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if if people are. But I know it's possible. I think it's possible, but I think it takes a ridiculous amount of self control. It's it, a really low. And not many people can do. That's that If you really love, so, okay, you look at it right. Okay, let's let the terms around now. We said you can't tolerate or you can't forgive or you can't find. It's you now, she's mm. or your boyfriend or your husband. Do you think if you say? I don't think men for keep cheating. No, I don't think you give me the same grace. But the thing is, so that so that what you have to ask yourself. Well, that's shit that you can't not forgive your husband, but your husband will not forgive you. But that one thing, but one thing most men do. I will say most men. Let us let us use word men. Most men, when a woman cheat, ah, the guy moves. Nasha, oh, she not to still happy. Small this thing the not carry up. You understand? When a man cheat, a man he be now. Ah, uh, you don't mind the world to see the tell you of men to see the bias there. So you have to also some amplify that hell of statement. But when you say you forgive him, there's a lot of amplifying it that men are free to cheat. No, no, no. I don't think that men are free to cheat. I'm talking about me personally. No. And also it depends on the dynamic of the relationship I have with this man. There's some people that you know, when someone cheats one, right. The person can't can do it take because it be like, Oh, I still need I still have why she forgave me. So he may come back and be like, Oh, this time was not planned. So that's why you think when you, when you it's, I know that we, we tolerate disrespect the first time, it continues. But when you show something down, like this. But the disrespect is still there regardless. The only difference is, is it that not telling you about it or is telling you about it's it? It's telling you about it for two really. One, is that he's afraid that he's going to be too good to up eventually. Or two, he has impregnated someone. No one would just say, I'm at ah, babe, I still love you when there's no spine or anything. What if they're just having guilty conscience? They don't have any guilty conscience. I'm telling you, those are the two things. And that's not what I caught them. But then if I cheated, someone was finding what was catching one word or that. I don't know the cheat was not coming like I just was cheated. Repeated it again. And the tendency is that you keep cheating. So that's a thing. So I want to know about this thing. You don't even know the fact that you are you know, then forgive rather over looking for one way or the other, you understand? By the time you start seeing this this light, one word is gonna pop out to you again. And when this thing comes out in public, I be like, oh, did you forgot was say, why did you adore it? No one knows to your dynamic. Right. So as a lady, knowing the fact that women don't have that same social breath as men do in society, which, which is why a man that marry five wives or maybe have baby mamas, no one's going to look at him. But the woman that have baby mama, they, they uh, have a uh, child for two different men, it's a big deal. deal. Right, the thing. Okay, so I wanted to ask yeah. this. There's this common debate on social media, love and money. What do you think about it? Because 
there are a lot of people that like to shame women yeah. that want to go for a certain type of man, right? A man that has some level of pedigree to an extent, right? And, you know, there's some people that think, you know, it's so wrong, you're a gold digger, it is. I'm not one of those people. I think that we all have our preferences, right? And we all have, just like they say, love languages. There are people that their love language is, you know, gift. They, they want to, and that's just what they want. And I don't think they should be shamed. But I just want to get your perspective on that. Yeah, the thing is, I think people misinterpret gold digger. Yeah, there's a point like gold digger. I just think for, ah, let me put a rich and ass up on you, understand? But I think people, people feel like, um, as a lady, uh, when you come, well, most, most society, I would say society, especially men. As a lady, when you when you start asking me for money, blah 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 blah, you're there for the money. Like I don't understand. When you met me, I was looking good. I was not ready when you met me. I was looking good. I think of myself cost money. So if you want me to be with you, I don't want me to start dating other people or doing anything outside the relationship. You have to, in a way, kind of back through my lifestyle. In a way, you understand. I'm not saying that you should, you should lavish your money on me, but when I need something, you should also be able to provide. That doesn't mean that me as a lady, I should not be able to have, I should not have my own money because that is the biggest most they most they need, most they need to make. The believe that wow, once I've caught a guy or once I've seen a guy that has money, let me stop right here. Own... But it's very very important as a lady, you have your own money. But it's okay. some bullshit. Hundred percent. Yeah. So even if I have my own money as a lady, you as a guy, you have to step up. I have to provide uh, a space in my life that I would be able to need you. You understand? Even if I can provide something, do it for me. Right. So I see a really bad thing, man. I'm not just we're asking boyfriend and get all that white. I know I'm not doing anything. So you are all for a man taking care of his girlfriend, what? like the financial needs of his. No, a man he has it. Yeah, like if you're capable of taking care of a lady, your financial is stable. Yeah, okay. I think that what you're doing is uh, nobody. When you wait, 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 I want a high standard baby, a high class baby. We don't want to put in the money. You expect the lady to do everything. Like I keep saying, like, it's important for a lady to have her own money. Don't get me wrong. It's important for a lady to have her own money. That's something you're supposed to provide for yourself. And you can also provide for the man, too. Even when the man has something, I don't give you about the gift. Like, like you said, gifts a love love with me. But everyone likes gifts. Regarding it, man, everyone likes money. I don't, I've never seen anybody that says I don't like money. You understand? The only thing is that, we, like, everyone now, like, I would expect my sister now to go into a relationship after suffering. Or get married and start calling me. Then I beg, go, we don't get 10 50k. Or call my breast, turn on 100k. No. That's why you have to be ready. Which is why there will marry someone that can provide for you. Doesn't mean that you won't work for your own money. Work for your own money as a need for two things for security. And second, in case if your husband or your boyfriend needs something, you can step up. That's how it works. You understand? In so many families, women are stepping up. Well, you don't step up to coming out to take 100%. 100%. I agree with you 100%. I think there's so many relationships, men and family, where there are women that are actually taking care of they, the home, the care of the man. Well, well we, don't, we don't care about you, about the True. We are about the world. Once men do small, they, 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 they start the whole respect. Mm -hmm. That was the worst thing I think. When I hear something that like, all oh, men are fish, brain, all men are good, I'm like, wait, how many women do you know? How many have you, how many have you seen? Right. You have started spread, doesn't that every like, everybody's that right. hundred percent the sound like the fair enough. So we're going to move to the last subtopic, which yeah. is the industry gist. I'm going to read some of your tweets. Yeah, you said whiskey should start building schools ar across Africa, like it promised four years ago. Starting with one at Ojo Legba, profits from his MLL tour plus music streams can be used to finance such projects. He retract he retracted the statement. But the promise is a promise and it needs to clear its debt. That's one tweet. Another tweet is, Davido should keep in mind that today, the 16th of March, 2023, marks one year that he promised the public 20 million naira, and he deliberately broke his promise. He made people disclose their business ideas, but he kept silent afterwards. That is wrong. There is nothing stopping him from disposing that 20 million naira. You also tweeted something. You said you think Ira Star and Thames are upcoming artists. Oh, they are. Another tweet, he said, Davido's timeless album is a three over 10. The album, I don't want to read this part, but you, you basically said it's a three over 10. And then you said also that Olamide is on the same level with Davido and Whiskey, but people continue to disrespect Olamide by comparing him with artists who are yet to lace the boots, to lace his boots or impact in the industry. Yeah. This, you said we should put some respect on Olamide's names because he's paved the way for people like Burner Boy plus other fast rising act artists. So, I think people don't respect Lamide enough, probably because he, he does him and um, do you know those uh, international collapse enough. 
I think a lot of their focus more. Let me pull up with African artists and let me just pull up with uh, Africa for the whole Nigeria. So most people don't, most people judge artists based on how many streams you've got, so how many international awards you've got, how many nominations you've got. So I don't think that's justifiable because most of these awards are organized and read down based on how far you're in the industry, how far you roll with the elites. And one thing people don't see or understand is that a lot of them have more hits on most of these popular artists. Like I said, most people, when they open the they'll be like, Oh, we still they do that one. I need to one should not be in that category in that conversation in the first place. Why? What about still have upcome compared to Whiskey, Debido, and Orlando? Brother Boys and Upcoming. When this artist, don't get me wrong, where these artists were, were popping, when I was nowhere to be found. So that's my statement. What I had his own group of people that popped the same time with him. Probably not the same, they are not the same recognition now. But there's a state for everybody. It's not like saying you want to put a uh, um, whiskey, the two face, and uh, the video in one beast it doesn't make any sense because two face literally are part of them. It's not about the one, not about the representation you're getting now. If Orlando did, what is, is mostly popping up was his streaming era. If most of these artists that were that like back in the day had this streaming era now, they had this thing great, most of them just are going to be hits. Streaming era had many of these, most of these, most of the streams are bought, most of the streams are massive PRO where you drop one song, you're fast, I don't know, hype it, hype it, hype it. Other things that don't jump on it, thanks to the internet. Back in the day, no one had that grace. You sing, you sell cassettes, you sell this. So if your music doesn't go out, apart from Brahmin, DJ that have you up, your music, which is why there's some old songs that when you see today, you jump to it. Because why? Before you put out the song, about that time, you make sure that this is your song, is something that can capture the other half. They might want to know why it gets, also put a beat. Because I don't know what I'm saying, go grow, 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 she repeats 25 times. Boom, it's the heat. Those, ah, this song, I found that it makes sense, I'll die. Yeah, and by getting it up, was it will have a bad sense. Which a lot happened when they didn't drop the album, right? I think Andy was saying, oh, see, even if you recorded the album one year ago, the fact that your song died, I suppose we are supposed to put, I personally to me, I think they need to put an emotional song. One song you get to your, to, to your beloved song. Can I say something when they're Daniel? I feel like the death of somebody's song is a very big thing, right? You don't know how he's processing that trauma. What if he doesn't want to sing about? What if it's too painful for him to sing about? What if he walk up and you know, a real artist, Things with emotion. A real artist. David has always made uplifting music all his life. He has never sang like um sad song. No, David songs has have always been like happy dancing or songs. So why does that have to change now? Because what a real artist, you write with emotions. Which is why people like Beyonce, which is why people like do most of these people have them um, uh ghostwriters. People like Beyonce, people like Adele, people like Sandy Joe, which is why they used to still play about you. You express yourself as an artist through your songs. Do you understand? As a passionista or a passion icon, those are really passion. You expect them to your passion, you make a passion statement. You understand? As a director, as a movie producer, you write in a movie that can reflect what you want. Like, if I'm a scriptwriter now, I will use my talent to write in movies, reflecting what I think so tight should It's not just writing like that. You know, it's a, yes, if I write songs that are just about this party, let's jubilate, but with tragedy or cause, I expect you to peg those things down. For example, let's go by it, me up by things. You can see where that song is going to. It's like a tribute song one. Song that I see you again by Wiz Khalifa. Those are songs that when you just do it, you know, oh, this song is, that's why it's a hit song. You can just sing it randomly. But you know, this song is conveying a soft, a, a, a kind of like sadness to it. There's that. You have Adele see it and, and Hello see it again. You have songs like uh, uh, I Will Survive. Those are songs that express, like, they fall down their experience, their emotion to these songs. So you can see. People process their child oh, different. Yes. But the, the reason why they say someone is an artist. That I've said, most artists nowadays, like most artists nowadays, that focus. Like, I'm not saying that you have to write, write a song that uh, you must everyone, someone hears, someone do that. Ah! I mean, you start crying and bringing that and that's for more. You don't know that I've said. But you can, you can also write a song. For example, you could also write a song, a happy song, reflecting the happy memories of Tiffany. The happy memories they had about Tiffany. I'm just saying that you're supposed to dig in a song because that was something that kind of like takes your life on the pulse for months. So be that way, when you say people, when people be like, oh, he's trying to forget you, don't forget that kind of thing. 50 years to go, you're still going to remember the members of your song, regardless of how much you possess it. That's how, that's the, the, the concern about, about uh, trauma. It, it's not, it's the level of duty away. You understand? If like, I'm gonna, if I have a lot more that died now, let's soon to provide data, blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, that's not this person die. You, you have that kind of like, feeling, I, I lost this person. When you see the pictures are like, because once you, you see all of that, oh, I'm going to keep repeating that picture just to cause. So you don't matter, no matter how you process it, you're going to keep seeing that picture. Is that the reason you feel that the album is three over ten? No, I'm trying to say a lot of them about that. I do like most of the songs on the album, like I think about some of the songs on the album. I'll show you the same thing. 
I just talk about women, legs, um, money. You understand? When you say you want to make a timeless album, we say you want to make a cruise album, go for a cruise album. No, you say cruise album, we just say to explain, bye, 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 bye. We say you want to make a timeless, timeless album, why well, expect to see some timeless in this girl? This is when you can play, you can play the next four, five years. Oh, this is a song. For example, now, if, like I can tell you, the, the best song they've ever dropped was IA. To me, that, that is a timeless music in a way, because if I played it over and over again, you understand it's talking about love, but at the same time, it's talking about not going for the ritual, at least giving love a chance. That kind of thing. I hear. Now, there's a lot of music, like, something like, oh, mom, if you ask me, this is that kind of timeless music goes, yes, the conversation will be happening. That's why you have, that's why, that is one of the reasons why Telapus is, is a big icon in the industry. But it's something relatable. What is there that still happens today? You understand? So, it's not about just coming out and write, and uh, are we, are we, all this, all this, and uh, just come out and sing raps and raps and raps. When the next one around come out, it fades out. So, that it did. So, I felt like he didn't do it enough for it. He was giving us, we already know they do it. All vibes and all vibes. Now, what is also that if the new was not probably a popular artist or a big star in the industry, and a regular or an open artist dropped the album, it will not get the same with the two gods. People mostly play that song because they just like the beat or the very finished impact. I have a few songs on that album that I think are bangers. Oh, there are a few songs for that. Actually, I think everyone had their like that. Like, I said, everyone had their own things. Like, for example, like, for instance, now, like, the artist they were in, or something like that, they'll give you a they'll give you a reset. So I'm like, I just think that it makes sense with this one I went to us. So it's like, it's everyone had their own. I just, that was my own opinion. I'm not saying that everyone should go out. But I felt like the album was kind of underwhelming. Because the anticipation I had for that album, when you said timeless, and I saw the trailer, I was like, okay, probably, well, maybe I'm going to say like, if the songs are like 10, maybe I'm going to say like four or five songs, I'm going to like reflect on emotions. Just like, it, it, must not, it must not be uh, sadness or whatever, just emotion, curly emotion. No, this is something that when I sing to it, I can relate to it. There's no song that, that I can that relate to. Personally. But as an artist, when you're making songs, you have to make reasonable music. If you're a popular fan of uh, someone like um, Taylor Swift, for instance, or you're a popular fan of someone like uh, uh, Ariana Grande, let's say Ariana is popular. When she sings, yes, most of us have a love song. Well, you, you can like, kind of relate to them. I just said, okay, I, I understand where you're coming from. Break up to their friend, you got those not right. So, that's not a tissue here. You know, this is, oh, this is, make it as funny, but I sent them, ah, this girl, they talk to me. And stuff. So that's that, that what I said from artists, not just come out and just sing, sing because you are you have you have the beat with a good beat and a good collab. Right. But, you you seem to be very vocal. I'm um, very sorry, very vocal about you know them. You know, keeping to their words, keeping to their promises. But why? Because yeah. these artists, some people can argue that you know they've given back enough. They've done this good deed. It doesn't matter if you donated your kidney to society. It doesn't matter. No, that is a good truth. If I come out now, let's say, okay, let's say that uh, uh, let's say that you're my aunt, right? Yeah. Oh, you kept for you kept to ask what day. Hey, this is this is yet. Before they give you this, they give you this. You know, so I don't worry. If I go, if I go, I will give you five k. Anything you give me again does not matter. That five k will be on my brain. Now. If I think where that day, we should all to go. This five k not show for me. That kind of statement. You expect that five k to go. If your boyfriend now calls you, I'll be like, ah, oh, okay, you're coming tomorrow, and tell me that I'll send you one here. Even if I give me you one, that link. That's why I have to bring it to your head. I think this guy says one M. Look at another Google body. You understand? So you you already be like one M is coming. So when you make a promise that I'm going to do something, don't matter what you've done before. You came out, you say you're gonna give money. You came out, say you're gonna be you came out, say you're gonna do this so, so basic. You should be able to give that that word. The only time you should retract your words. If he example, me, you want to donate something to someone, let's say someone personal. Oh, look, I'm going to give you five I tell her, probably I don't want to buy a video of the structure behind my back, or if you try to use the money to do something illegal. Oh, nah, you, the money is only deserved to deserve it. I pull back. Now, my last most celebrities that will do what they do. They come out and they be like, I'm going to donate, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that. They get the clouds. You understand? They get the clouds and they used to revive their fan base or whatever, whatever, whatever. And they pause back. Sometimes they select people they already know. No, no, it is, it is, it is, it is, I gave it to there. You understand? Now, most people come out and be like, oh, you keep pressing on the video, it's not your money, it's not my money, right? I didn't participate for the donation. You understand? If the video comes out again, money, I'll not accept. But, you will not accept. Yeah. I, the video calls you to get out of money, you will not accept. No jokes. Why? There are some people that will call me today, I didn't want to accept for some reason. Why are the people that will come and give me, I'll take money, I'll let her take. But my friend, I've just money before, I think. Yes, that's called it. My friend, that's what we better change about what. He gave me 100 dollars. Ah, thank you. And he asked for it. That's not, but that doesn't mean that give me 100 key. You're not saying something I don't like on ours. I was sitting on blast. It's not blast that we, he has blocked me, obviously, now. 
was not only that, I think when people give you something, they're like, oh, look at that, we are something, and you should be good to me. I don't care. If you give me money, you just see your life, you give me money as well, you say nothing tomorrow else. So I'm last. That's how it works. Like, like that's like, that's how, that's how friendship works anyway. If your friend is doing something, right? You know what your friend is doing is wrong. Babe, this way, no lecture, so this guy no, no good for you. It doesn't make that for enemies. You are just saying, this thing way, you know, makes sense. Well, some will someone will be like, ah, so our friends, why are you not going to support me? It's not anything you support. Fair enough. Um, fair. So I expect that if you are some artist to make, you give, you, you, you say you're going to do something. Maybe if you push it for, sense, for certain reasons, try to fulfill those things. Because this is the reason why we're still going out what meant it to do. It's not because of useless to buy and see. No. It's because they came out and gave us copy promises. I will give you road. Five thousand there every week. And this one, that one, what's one day we voted, we did not see the change from the stores. The school, we did not see. Money, we did not see. Light, we did not see. This is why we're dragging government. So if we're dragging government, we should wait to drag people that also begin promises online. Because I think you, you have the capacity. Well, the government is obligated to take care of their city. Yes. But when I just want to know what we take. promise. You also build a village. That's how it works. That's how I promised the bet. When you say I'm going to stop the earth, you be fair enough. Okay, you also said that you think Thames and Iris are upcoming artists. But I think some people will argue that they are very well internationally recognized. Not about being an upcoming have nothing to do with how many awards you won, uh, how far you are in the industry. No. Before you cast, because up, we have upcoming, right? Yes. We have goods. Mm -hmm. But only two categories. We don't have upcoming and middle upcoming, semi upcoming, semi goods. No. You're either up in an upcoming artist. Or your goods. Right. That is not a goods. She's not voted yet. She's mm -hmm. out of Thames don't have a song that can sustain her from paying it. If Thames decided to drop, if if, if, that's, if that's what a people like, what is being given, like Met Gala and this thing, most people would have said, it's not more sight. That's how that is a good job about mm -hmm. it. Compared to people like, uh, let's just all like Nicky now, for instance. Even if you don't sing it, let's pay it. She has established herself. Right. She will always be up to always be compared to every rapper that comes out. That's what you go by established and uh, uh, established artist. Then she yes, she's she's still past right. An Ira Star. And that's why I say an up so yes. Ira Star. She's still uh, listen, I think Ira Star has so many like hit songs. Not by which hit song. She does uh, which song does she have? I think Sability is a hit song. She's one of the most useless on reviews though. I'm sorry to say. There's nothing reasonable about that song. Honestly, I'm not trying to like I'm not trying to like this I'm not trying to like kind of doubt play her effort. No. I think she, she's a very good job with workouts, whatever, whatever. But she's not I think she she's giving the people she's just recycling her I don't know how to put it. She's just recycling one thing every time. We need to see her sing different thing. Like you can see to what's happening now. So have to sort of for feminism. She has a song about this. She has a song that champion women. She has a song that does freestyle. She has a song that talk about relationship. That was about artist being Diverse. See what can hop on any beat. See what have so many songs that can be gathered present to Wasabi. If they're called to Wasabi now, too, like she's going to perform in the Korean song now, right? She can decide to not pick one of her songs that talk about black movement, talk about royalty or something. That is why it wasn't a niche. You have to work with people like YG that have found so many songs on different levels. You have to like a amount of people. But what I thought about them, and I asked apart from probably her vibes and her mini show me scared and whatever she's driving with. I'm not saying she's not a good artist. Yes, she's a good artist. They promise her it. But she's not pushing her pay. Mm. The same thing with Tens. Tens is only a big artist today because she's having the collapse. That's the only thing that Tens began that I am right now. Tens has a with the ELS, a job with the Rage, a job with the only thing giving Tens when they back. If you that's a big deal, bro. Uh, to work with those. That is how the industry works. When they want to push you, they push you. Yes, that's fair enough. I am sorry, it's popular because the government is pushing her. If I thought was an artist now, she wouldn't have the way she have now. Because automatically you work with your jazzy, you have he's already collected in English. So you have this certain kind of um or it's like a kind of grief to push your music. It's just like when we see come and be like, oh, drop on uh so on so on. Everybody also has we see whatever we see whatever we see there, you see the hype. Russ watch straight. So from there you get what we see. Is that this happening to an star now? Is that that way to uh tens? These artists are not independent, they are not self made You understand? Compared to artists that have been that have been working on that ground non-stop before someone finally picked them up. That's another thing. So I'm saying that I'm not saying that tense and I understand not from that property, but this are the these are depths is with this about that helps us on on people. Because they are density is the queen of half a bit. Like I knew I knew thinking straight. I had to put them to go over some people like to wasn't that rest of them there. 
Right. You understand? So I'm not trying to doubt. I'm just trying to say that they are not there yet. Okay. They need to be ready for at least five, six years. Grounded, have beats, have uh, hit song. Pass all the days up and then put the beats. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so I have three more questions to ask you to wrap up this whole episode. The first one is, can you mention one artist, Nigerian artist, that you think is underrated, that you think deserves way more accolades than it's currently getting? Just how many of them, like I said, Volam is one of them. Um, in terms of upcoming, I think one of one underrated artist, very, very underrated artist is Johnny Drew. Johnny Drew. Oh, yeah, I love his music. He doesn't get the app. Uh, I think probably everybody does think about Brutus Nash out. I think his style is also pretty good. His style that we're not getting the hype with his out. If Jaji was a foreign artist, he would be getting the same accolades that people like Ed Sherry might get to. Right. Right. That's why I agree with you. Okay, so what artist do you think is overrated? There are many of them. I will not call it names, mm-hmm. but there are many artists that were there from, from the top, from the ages to people top. Many of them are very. You can't give us one name. Okay, fair enough. I'm not going to push you. And then the final question I have, there's this debate. It's like a timeless debate. Who is the GOAT in this Nigerian uh, music industry? So we have three contestants, I guess. Three brothers. I goes to remember me, Kutsi. Every other person falls behind no, Femi Kutsi, yeah, okay, yeah, I, I think his music is great. Yes, well, we have some people that people really argue about. We have David, we have Whiskey, we have Burton. Do I follow it? None of them is a goal. I think they are, like, they are about to. I would say in a way that what they all right, but they're not yet goods, goods. Because I feel like before you say someone is a good, right, I want to see what, like, no, they have a part in the industry that paved way, you understand? But... Before I call you, I want to see you on the same level as Temi Kutsi. You understand? Like, when it comes to like football now, right? You call me, you say, go to Messi. Temi Kutsi or Fela? Fela, sorry. Fela Kutsi. Sorry, Fela Kutsi. Fela. Fela Kutsi. So when you, you come out, you, you, you call people like, um, let's come to sport by yourself. Oh, people go to the industry, you call people like Messi, Ronaldo, Ting Maria. Um, so you see the level who they put at the same pedestal. The Maria, uh, and they find all those all those big 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 iconic people in the start those who have walked their way to talk about it's not if you tell me all the most of their stats not about their stats all of them have very what's that but you talk about the lo- the logistic the game what they've done you understand in the sport so when you come back and be like oh this part good spot this part good sometimes i look at them and i laugh if i see that nobody here that big artist they made them for themselves but what we really remember for some artists their music their good music their music has like lasted the test of time i think okay maybe we're limiting it to those three we have i believe we have some legends good. so i want to pick a good between we still david do uh a lot that will go for a lot of a lot they have more reasonable music that will say that they do confined that is the simple truth wow how about two-faced the best is good there that's what i'm saying that do that we go boots does he the nice not like you can't it well he was at some point but if they've got that in the industry straight ones they're not just good at it Fair term is just because he has produced many, many talent. Many talent. The third thing goes for Alami Day. Alami Day produced many talent. Who are the that whiskey produced? Who are Gonna Boy produced? That was you ask yourself. Most of them are why, why, um, someone like the last three goods? Because everyone is sampling this, this, you know, or the other. When I sampling uh, the last this music, what are your song that samples? So that I think so you just you look at. So if there's only if there's a good debate between whiskey, when I don't think but that but was not all yet there. Between whiskey, the video uh or land video, Olamide or the little bit of standard among the three as a good. So we're wrapping up this episode saying Olamide is the good. Olamide is the little bit of standard among the three. The three. But in general, Fela Kuti is your good. Fela Kuti is it's not it's not, not yours. But now they go to the partner of Afrobeat. So they deserve the acro. I think it deserves the acro. Fair enough. Thank you so much. That ain't bad. That ain't big. And you get that's cracked me up as much as you have. Thank, Thank you so much. For me, so wait, wait, round. I'll just update real quick. I think that this is a misconception that um, ladies in the industry uh, um, into uh, getting uh, their wealth or their whatever, whatever, whatever from men. You know, both of them at least actually putting the work get to where they are. And it's a very big. Very false. Very false. You got to be like, oh, um, uh, which says she bought the housing, you know, and I'm an for her. I think we are going there to ask for free. 
So they had even said it like that one thing I I I, 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 I when I see someone like mystic, all this nonsense alpha nonsense they do online, I feel like you guys are not taking straight. You come out to be like, oh this is a shall this and this and that. Like what is not making any sense. There are ladies that walk. Like I came there and I put like this online that I was putting it. That put like uh, I was practicing. The fact that I'm not coming out to like, and I don't mention my name. Am I not putting it to all? Like I've not been there long enough. No, you've not been there long enough. I said it. I'll say your set is kind of different. I'm talking about go with it, with when um Nedu is making that means like in Nigeria, in Nigeria. So I'm gonna go with people that I said that be there for you. Boy, wow, yeah, yeah. That, definitely. So this idea that uh, when they get this future, when they get have a house, have a car, man, yes, sometimes they might come back through you. That is what real be the lady. You understand? Definitely, it's a. Yeah, like, oh, I want to get to your house. Maybe you have a speed. That doesn't mean like she won't be on money. But not the fact that just that everybody is in the position. Many of them, many celebs are many, maybe just whatever, they do all this kind of blue cheat, they hook up. But you don't generalize that everybody is making Right. A lot of and the fact that a man is even helping or supporting, maybe you have a supportive partner, does not take away from your own hard work. Now, there's so many hard working women, so many hard working women. If Beyonce and Jay Z were Nigerian, oh, Beyonce is the one that did that, did, that did back roll up, you know, back. But well, so many cases where if you do have previous celebrities where they are, I find that well, you still have most of most of the leads are returned they met. Fair. But you still see that under that kind of respect. Right. It's about, well, Nigeria had a deal like that once they have more money, uh Nama they give you the money. As a very big deal. That's why most women now they have they work tirelessly to make a, a name for themselves. And jobs. Because they have to prove that that really will keep the money for myself. But when the woman have the Nigeria position in the fact, she didn't, she didn't merit it. She mm. don't fuck money that they get now. You see that, that was a very stupid thing that made you don't think at the You see? And what I tell people is that when you're making a thing about, when you want to make a thing about any gender, a man or a woman, nobody ever has to ask them, you have one Sure. So you are thinking that all women are, I said, well, you have one night at all. You classify them on that. What you say? What, what you, you guys say? Ah, but also with the industry, I see different kids. But you say all women are in general lying. That's the reality. All women, your daughter and teacher will be the same. Mm. That's very, right. That's the thing. Thank you so much, by the way. Thank you. So I'm going to wrap up this episode. I'll tell you guys one thing for a fact. If you want the honest truth, like very honest and blatant, just call to Daniel Rega. I'm telling you, he will give you the truth. So I hope you people enjoyed this episode. Please continue to like, comment, and share every content I put out. I remain your host on this podcast. My name is Doing David, and have an amazing day. Bye, guys. <laughs>